we are swimming in rhubarb in our garden. So it's rhubarb season here and our rhubarb has exploded this year, which is super fun. So we're making all the things with rhubarb, but we have so many of these rhubarb leaves. And while I know that they are toxic to animals and people to consume, we really wanted to find a way to use them so that we weren't tossing, you know, bags and bags of rhubarb leaves into the garbage or into the compost bin. So we started doing some research and what we found was when processed properly, these leaves can be just as potent as a cleaner. And then also you can use it as an insecticide in your gardens. So we're gonna just put it in a spray bottle and you can use it for either, either or. So it can be a really potent insecticide in the garden without using harsh chemicals. And it can be a really awesome cleaning agent inside your home. It's also antibacterial um, without using harsh chemicals. So let's get started processing our rhubarb leaves. So depending on how much of it you need, um, we're just gonna start with like four or five leaves and we're gonna chop them up. And then we're going to boil them with like four or five cups of water. And we're just gonna simmer them on the stove for like half an hour. Okay, so I just have like a medium sized pot here. I'm trying to use like stainless steel, um, just where I don't know if using like copper or something might have a different reaction um, with it. So we're gonna just cover this. It will release some moisture as well. Same with like when you're boiling like applesauce or rhubarb down into um, something you can eat, it will release some liquid. So we're just gonna put our five cups of water and I'll show you how much water that's going to be and then we'll start simmering it on the stove. So this is with um, four or five cups probably and about five leaves, so it doesn't cover it. We want this to be really concentrated and potent, so we're not putting a ton of liquid in there. Um, you can make green dye out of this too, by the way, not food dye, but you can make green dye to like, you know, dye clothes or something with. So um, that's just something to keep in mind because as this boils on the stove, you don't wanna spill it on your clothing because it is a dye. So we're gonna put this on the stove, we're gonna cover it up, we're gonna start simmering it for about a half an hour and I'll show you what it looks like kind of halfway through that. So we're about halfway through now. This is kind of like spinach. <laughs> so you'll see it's really kind of shrunk down and there's a lot more water than leaves now. So we're just gonna leave that probably for another 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll be ready for the next step. So you can tell it really decreased both in liquid and in leaves. <laughs> um, so we're just going to strain the liquid into this bowl. And it's not gonna give us too, too much. I'm just gonna leave that there to just kind of strain further and move it around and let it strain further. So you can see it's like a really green liquid. So we're actually gonna let this completely cool and then we're gonna mix it with a tiny bit of soap, like wash soap and, um, oops, I spilled some there, uh, and more water and so it will dilute it a little bit more. So stay tuned, we're gonna let this completely cool and then we'll be able to add it all together. So by the time you get to this point, you can cool it down and just strain it into any old um, spray bottle. So this is just an old one that I have that I mix up uh, like homemade all-purpose cleaner in it. And so the nice thing about this dilution is what we're gonna do is we have, we end up about this much liquid, so it's a little less than half of this particular bottle. Um, so it works out to be like, I don't know, five or 600 mils that we have of the liquid strained off. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this bottle up with water. And then I'm gonna just add like a teaspoon of this lemon natural uh, dish soap. And the reason that we're gonna do that is for a few reasons. So if we're using it as insecticide in our garden, this is an ad, like, you know, an absolute must. You can probably just dilute this and just use this in your garden. It probably would still be effective because this is an excellent uh, insecticide but it makes it even more potent to add like a natural dish, dish soap in with it in order to kind of like really combat those pests in the garden. And then also this is antibacterial, so you can use it as an all purpose cleaner in your home. And what I find is adding the dish soap gives a little bit of an extra, 
you know, a better smell to it. This doesn't, this doesn't really have much of a smell, but it kind of smells, smells like boiled down spinach. And so I don't really want to clean, you know, the surfaces in my home with something that smells like that. So you can use essential oils instead. So if you want to add essential oils, I like peppermint and lemon in with the rhubarb. It tends to take on those scents really nicely, but I'm doing dish soap today. So just a teaspoon of this lemon dish soap, and then you can even add some extra tea tree or peppermint or lemon essential oils in with this as well. So uh, let's, uh, let's mix this up and we'll see what it looks like. So make sure when you are diluting it down that, see when I filled this up, so this is just like foam, uh, and you want to let that settle back down and keep filling it up. So you want to make sure before you add your soap in, you fill it all the way up. So we have a thousand mil in this bottle. I fill it even past that. And then I'm going to add the, the, um, the, our dish soap to it. Okay. So then we're just going to do our teaspoon of our dish soap in here. I like to do the dish soap last, obviously, because if you're adding water, into dish soap in here it's going to give you so much foam on the top so i like to do it last let me do like another little squirt in there and then we just put the cover on and kind of just very gently mix it up again you don't want it to be really foamy and then you have this really awesome antibacterial natural cleaner this is a really great staple to have in your pantry. You can spray it on all your surfaces. Make sure you're using an all natural uh, dish soap if you are adding dish soap or just use essential oils. Spray it on everything, clean everything with it. You can also boil your leaves in tarnished pots and the pots will come out clean. So if you have a stainless steel or if you have a pot that is tarnished on the inside, boil your leaves in that. It will come out clean. Um, this is such an awesome product to have. Clean your sinks with it, uh, in your bathrooms with it, everything. Use it in your gardens, it's great.